How's it going everyone? Today we've got a massive five figure collection that we just picked up ahead of the Toronto Sports Card Expo. In this video we're going to be going through it and showing you guys some of the highlights and surprises we found throughout the collection. As always if you are looking to move your cards we're always buying collections so feel free to reach out to the email on the screen. We are located in Toronto. Also for those attending the Toronto Expo this year make sure to stop by our booth number 1028 to 1031 all weekend long. Alright so we'll start off with more of the high mid to higher end cards in the collection. We purchased this off a longtime friend of ours and he had just so many great cards in the collection ranging from rookies high-end vets hall of famers 101s you name it it's in here we'll start off here with an alex ovechkin exquisite patch auto out of 25 a beautiful card to kick things off and then we have a buyback gretzky autograph this is the shadow box auto out of three from ud buybacks back in the day there's a austin matthews masterpiece signatures from ultimate and another ovechkin this one's the exquisite autograph out of 25. now here are the higher end graded cards in the lot of course when we do a big lot like this we typically take our time with the higher end cards with the seller and then the 10 to 15 dollar stuff is more bulk and we group those into lots at the end so we'll show you guys that sort of stuff towards the end of the video here we have a beautiful patch autograph out of five of connor mcdavid from 1718 ultimate and then we get into some of the young guns, Ovechkin 9.5, MNT, McDavid. We have Leon Dreisaitl, that one's Beckett. MNT just doesn't hold great value, unfortunately. Beckett is definitely the way to go. I think we're going to re-slab these into uh, Beckett holders. We have Matthews and Marner as well there. Continuing on with the graded ones, this is a cool triple autograph. Joe Thornton, Joe Pavelski, and Brent Burns, one out of six. Really cool card. Then we got a Gordy MNT9 autograph with the inscription. A wicked John Tavares limited logos. That is what John collected actually. He was a huge Tavares fan. So we're going to see a ton of Tavares later on in the video. There's another one behind it. Draft Day Marks 9.5 out of 10. And a beautiful Scotty Bowman championship auto. Here's a quad foundations out of 5. We actually have the 101 version of this card. So cool to get that one as well. Behind it, we have the out of three Sundin autograph from Premier. A beautiful Mike Bossy. Tops, PSA 9, but off-centered, unfortunately. Still a wicked card. 9-5, Jack Eichel. Charlie McAvoy, 9-5. The Rat, Brad Marchand. And Tuka Rask. We also had some amazing booklets from Upper Deck Premier. Now, they stopped making these. I'm not a huge fan of booklets, but this set was just unreal. There's the stadium and the autograph, a beautiful brodeur. Behind that, the Mike Bossy as well, really cool ones. Or John Gibson from the same set, different year, not a huge fan of these ones. Paul Coffey and Patrick Laine. The Panini booklets, then and now, patch, really cool. Ray Bork, Boston, and Colorado. A rookie jersey autograph of Nathan McKinnon from 1314 Panini Playbook. And a few more premier ones, Cam Neely, Boston Garden, sick one. Chicago Stadium, and we have the Maple Leaf Gardens, Daryl Sittler Auto, and then of course, John Tavares, going to see a lot of him coming up. Now the first thing that caught my attention when John brought this lot in was these Splendor boxes. I wanted to see what was inside of them, and he did insanely well. This was five boxes that he opened up back in the day, and uh, we'll let you guys take a look at what he got. So we saw the Steve Eiserman out of five first. That was an amazing hit. Two of five there. Beautiful stick gold auto. Now the other four as well are still big ones. Let's see. Box number two was the Sidney Crosby patch auto out of 36. Behind that, box number three was a Mario Lemieux patch autograph out of 36 as well. Good pairing with the Crosby. Box number four was another out of 11. This one, Duncan Keith. Nice patch in there. Eight out of 11. And the final box was a sick four of five Alex Del Vecchio stick autograph. So crazy result from those five boxes of Splendor. The final two stacks are in completely random order. We'll just go through them here. Mike Bossy on the first one. This is a cool quad autograph. Brian Trottier, Mike Bossy, Dennis Potvin, and Clark Gillies Gold. This is one of my all-time favorite products, Panini Contenders 1314. Triple Gold Club of Eric Stahl. Wicked inscription there, a little bit of a flex. Hour on the Legends Classic Auto, as well as the Evgeny Malkin Auto. Continuing with the inscriptions, Bobby Hall, Inked Script Inscriptions from Premier. Then we have the Cup Autograph of Bobby Hall. Stamp Auto from Canada Post, Mark Messier. These were so fun back in the day. Marty St. Louis, great photo holding the cup. Wendell Clark, 1213 Classic Signatures. Jake Gensel, 
Future Watch Acetate Autograph from Clearcut. A whole bunch of Sign of the Times Decades. This one's Dennis Potman to start things off. Mike Gartner, 80s. We have another 80s of Ron Hextall. The 80s continue with Bernie Nichols. Yari Curry. And we finish off with the 90s of John Van Beesbrook. I had these ones off to the side. Here's a nice batch of Hall of Famers. We have the Joe Sackick jersey autograph out of 25 from Ultimate. Dale Howarchuk stick auto at a 150. A 1 out of 10 premier stick of Mario Lemieux. I love this one. Mark andre Fleury moving all the way up with the Penguins. And then the free NHL jersey card. I love that one. And there's the back of that out of 50 silver version. And ultimate signatures of Bobby Orr. A few more Ors here. The signature renditions. A cool Patrice Bergeron out of 50. Another Bobby Orr on the stick autograph out of 50 as well. And a Patrick Wall Ice Scripts autograph. Autograph just a little bit faded on that one. We have Yarmir Yager, Sign of the Times. This is a cool card. Not too sure um, what these go for or much about them, but a cool autograph out of 25. Bobby Hall, Frank Mahovlich, Guy Lafleur, and Marcel Dion. I think these were like in-person autographs at the BOSA show there in Vancouver. Cool. Matthew Barzell, Future Watch autograph. Timu Solani and Shryman's auto out of 99. And Gordy Howe. Now this card is crazy. Somehow this card is numbered out of 150. <laughs> Our final stack before we show you guys all the remainder of the cards. We're going to whip through some amazing John Tavares. Start off with the 101 Masterpiece from Fleer Showcase. Then we have an autograph out of 18 buyback artifacts rookie auto. The Cup Autograph out of five blue-black signatures. NHL Logo Crest Short Print from OPG Platinum. Ultimate Signatures, Premier Signatures, a duel with Matt Duchesne from the Cup. So here's a look at all the cards that we didn't go card by card on. There's just too many to show in this video, but just so many nice pieces to the collection. We go through these as well for the seller. Typically, uh, they ask us to do a video of all the cards. Really cool for both parties involved in the deal. So here's the first run through of cards. And here is batch number two. Great mix of rookies and vets in this one, as well as those Hall of Famers. He was a great Bruins collector as well. He had a ton of Bruins and Islanders, his two main teams, so really cool to see there. And here is the final batch, a whole bunch of Jumbo Young Guns. There's some cool booklets. And the final few Toronto Maple Leafs and Islanders cards as well in there. So that is the final batch of cards in the lot. So there we have it. That was the collection. Stay tuned. A lot more Expo content coming up. If you guys are going to the show, make sure to stop by the booth, and we will see everybody on the next one.